Hello everybody! Today we are here to take a quick look at the latest animated movie from Disney, Wish. Directed by Chris Buck and Fawn Vera Sunthorn and starring the voice talents of Ariana DeBose, Chris Pine, and Alan Tudyk. The story takes place in the fictional Mediterranean land of Rosas, led by King Magnifico, voiced by Chris Pine, who has the power to grant wishes. Ariana DeBose voices young Asha, who initially wants to be the king's apprentice. But she starts to question the king's methods as she realizes most of the wishes given to him will never be granted. And they're not so much the gifts of a benevolent king as a way for him to maintain control over his subjects. And so, being a Disney movie, she makes a wish upon a star, but she gets a little more than she bargained for. Namely, the star. I didn't get to see this right away during opening weekend as I had a nasty-ass cold, and only recently I finally felt healthy enough to go out and see Wish. And I got quite the surprise. I had heard it was not doing very well. And given that it was a Thursday, I was not expecting a huge crowd. But I still expected a crowd. I did not get that. I was literally the only person in that theater, which I'm pretty sure has never happened to me before. Especially considering this movie has not been out for that long, I expected to find someone in there. No! Usually it doesn't matter what movie I'm seeing or when I'm seeing it, there's someone else in the theater, not this time. And it's a Disney movie that just came out too, I mean that's frightening. And I believe it is the first certified rotten Disney movie since Chicken Little, which, ooh, ouch. And that is a little surprising because this is better than Chicken Little. I honestly thought Wish was perfectly fine, but that's kind of the problem because this is supposed to be a celebration of a hundred years of Disney. If you are making a movie as part of a centennial celebration, it needs to do better than fine. And what makes it just fine is the story. It's really not very strong. I thought they made King Magnifico's true intentions a little too obvious a little too quickly. Like, that guy went from zero to evil in three seconds. And the star was kind of disappointing as well. Like, King Magnifico almost immediately perceives it to be some great threat to his power, and it's not really clear how he came to that conclusion, because it certainly didn't seem all that threatening, at least at first. For pretty much the entire second act, literally all it does is make animals talk. Wait. No, I tell a lie. Animals and mushrooms. To be fair, one of those animals is voiced by Alan Tudyk, and I cannot complain about that. But I expected Asha's wish would do... something? I mean, at least a little more than just make some animals sing and dance. I thought it would at least give her some powers that could challenge the king, and eventually it kinda gets there, but it takes so goddamn long to do so. It's like Asha wishes upon a star, and then eventually, Asha defeats the king. How do we get from point A to point B? Slowly. In lieu of a good story, this movie relies very heavily on nostalgia. The star is, of course, supposed to be from Pinocchio. Asha has a bunch of friends that are based on the Seven Dwarfs. The talking animals are from... Several movies, really. And I like playing a game of Spot the Reference as much as anyone, but the story has to come first, and it just didn't. Even the songs were not all that great, I'm sad to say. The opening number was fine, but it's also pretty much a carbon copy of the opening number from Encanto. Pretty much the instant that song started, I'm like, whoa, are we out of ideas already? Oh, this is gonna be rough. Even the big I want number, or I wish number, I guess it would be in this case, like, the chorus was pretty good, but the verses, not so much. The lyrics weren't particularly memorable, some weird choice of rhythms, and it just, the whole thing felt off. I have very few complaints about the voice acting, that was pretty good all around. DeBose did a very good job as Asha, this young, idealistic girl who just wants to help her family and do some good in the world. And thanks to West Side Story, we know she can sing, and she was outstanding on that front as well. I liked Pine as King Magnifico, he was clearly having a lot of fun playing the bad guy. And thanks to Dungeons and Dragons, we know he's a decent singer, but it did sound to my ears like Pro Tools may have been involved. I'm just saying. I've said it before and I will say it again, Alan Tudyk is a national treasure, and he had some funny moments as the Goat Valentino. Asha's friends were a lot of fun, I did like the running gag where the introverted one just keeps appearing and disappearing at will, and no one can figure out how she's doing it. One moment she's not there, and then suddenly she is, and they're like, did anyone see her come in? And of course the animation is fantastic, Asha's hair almost looks too real. It's amazing what modern technology can do. 
and the art style is very reminiscent of old school Disney animation, but rendered in a modern, computer generated 3D environment, and it works pretty well, I dig it. Clearly a whole lot of effort and hard work went into this, and I just wish it had a stronger story. It never really felt like it was fully fleshed out. The story was just a backdrop for the nostalgia, and it's supposed to be the other way around. This is the time when I would say there is probably no need to go and see this in a theater, but apparently I don't have to because y'all ain't doing that anyway. You are clearly waiting for Disney+, Plus, and yeah, do that. And that's all I have to say about Wish. Till next time, take care.